Hi everybody, welcome to JCK Studio. Today I am going to guide you uh, King's Crown. If you are very new to the channel, subscribe my channel. And if you are new to this 3D modeling, see my older videos. Let's start. Press Shift A and create a circle. In this properties, make it 24 and press Enter. Press Period key to zoom in. Now go to the top view using a 7 and go to edit mode 1. Go to the edge selection and before that select everything. Go to the front view and E to extrude and Z axis. E to extrude and Z axis. Now you can can select as per this way so select the edges so the required edges has been selected go to the front view e text to the in z axis I make a G set to make it more and yes to scale out. Make it G Z. And go to select the individual origins and yes to scale slightly down. And again go to and select the median points. And E takes to in Z axis and scale it out and GZ. Now go to the pivot tool and make it individual origin and yes to scale till the end. Okay. And go to the wireframe and select these vertices and scale it down. and G to move double G to move okay you can move up to here now I press control 3 to apply a subdivision so now you can able to see we have get some uh, good shape in the curves right click shirt smooth go to the object properties and select the auto smooth now here we are going to give some more detailing for this before going further i go to the wireframe and select this and go to the pivot point and make it median and i scale it slightly in okay and i go again i change it to the individual origins i make it yes to scale still more inside In modify tool, subdivision I turn off on, edit mode, okay, now looks better. Now select all the edges, edges vertices, So I just use the uh, alt key and select everything and I go to the front view in wireframe mode I use the circle select to select all the vertices in top. Now you can able to see how it has been selected I go to the edge selection you can able to see how it has been came. I press before that I go to the median point I press shift D right click to duplicate and press P to make it the separate object now I select the same 
and go to edit mode select everything and e to extrude in z axis so now we can able to some shape has been came yeah which looks better now again i go to the edit mode select everything and e to extrude right click to cancel alt s to scale it outside and i zoom it in i go for the edge selection i'm going to select all the edges using a alt key and i zoom it in i press control b to make a bevel I use the shift key and uh, make it the bevel like this now we have got good shape in that now we can able to see some additional design we have given for the crown now we are going to add some more detailing for this I go to edit mode for the wireframe selection i'm going to select this press shift yes and cursor to 3d so now uh, 3d cursor has came here i press shift a and create a uv sphere i scale it down okay i got the side view and now i rotate the same and g to move i'm aligning in this shape Go to the wireframe and see. Cut all three to make a subdivision. In subdivision editing mode, I'm just disabling the same. Okay. I go to the side view and go to the front view and see how it looks. Fine. So here, I am going to make it a little bit scale it up and I go to edit mode, I select the center of the uh, vertices, I press control plus 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 to create like this, I press shift D and right click to cancel and gz i move it to here and i just align it here as per our requirement and i scale it down and g to move okay now we have got one uh, good shape here but we have to still we have to make it move a little bit down okay now here i have made one more design for the crown to make it look like this okay go in this way and i just rotate it this angle okay okay now looks better so what i'm going to do is for to going to do further things here go to edit mode select in between press shift s and cursor to 3d so now it has been centered now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to make it as 3d cursor as a pivot point go to the top view and shift d to duplicate right click to cancel and Rotate it in Z axis to match this one. Let's see it's matching. Yeah, what we made is correct now. So same thing I'm going to do. Shift D to duplicate. Right click to cancel. Rotate it in Z axis.
so we can zoom it and align, align it as per our command rotate it in z axis using a shift key you can align it okay now i am going to select these three object and i am going to do shift d to duplicate right click to cancel and rotate it in z axis now you can able to see we have created so faster this items rotate in z axis using the shift key you can move like this now all crown has the item so i go for this and now here we are going to do some more designs here for the crown go to edit mode so i'm going to select this bottom one and e text it in z axis okay i just undo that i got one more idea to do g z make it here and e text it in z axis e text it in z axis okay i got one more idea better way g z you can move it and e text it in z axis and you can uh, create one uh, length here and e text it in z axis now here i am going to create one uh, loop cut here for this uh, sorry uh, two loop cut here so which will be taken evenly Uh, make it four. Okay. Okay. Let it be it, uh, just this thing. So we will uh, think about it for the thing here. Okay. Now, after doing this, so select these vertices and these vertices. Shift D to duplicate, right click to cancel and press P and make it separate selection. Now I am selected everything. G, Z, you can move towards up here. And E takes to in Z axis. Okay. And I press create R and create the loop cuts for the both. And I select these two, scale it out, and you can see one smooth curve we have given for this design. And here we are going to give some golden design, uh, actually, diamond uh, colors here. So I just make it one by one, I give it here. I leave first, I select one cross i leave again select and one cross i leave again select i uh, leave one more thing and i select i leave one more thing and select leave one more vertices and select leave one more vertices and select or we can make it two is better uh, actually we left two that is the problem Okay, I missed out. One, two, three. One line we have got. after this box. One line we have left. I selected after the three vertices. Select after three. Select after three. Select after three. Select. Okay, now it has been came orderly as per our requirement. Press Control Shift B and create a design like this and press ctrl minus to select only the in between power points okay fine actually for us it's required outer one need to be selected so i select all the outer one let's see by doing the combine alt shift yes one Okay, it's not taking. So we have to do each thing one by one. No other option. 
alt shift yes one or Okay, which is the same has been not taken for us properly because this 3D cursor is we have given is wrong. It should be median point. Now add shift S yes, one. So now it has been rotated correctly. So the same I am going to do because that scaling of the scroll that the rotation we are going to give further uh, same. Um, a design for that actually that uh, resolution so I am doing separately first and let me try I go for the circle select to make it easier selection now I scale it out okay it's not coming perfectly so we can do it separate separate for this scale it in to it in 0 0.8 okay scale it to along scale it 1.8 scale it 1.5 okay we can make it 1.5 we, we can give keep it as a resolution scale it 1.5 the same method I am going to do it for uh, every uh, circle. Alt Shift S1 and scale it 1.5. Alt Shift S1 scale it 1.5. Alt Shift S1, scale it 1.5. So I'm just repeating the same little faster without uh, giving instructions. Okay, we have almost we have uh, done our requirement. Here we are going to give this one is join. I'm using shift R to repeat the same and X to delete the vertices and let's see how it looks yeah it looks good here I'm going to give extrude and cancel alt yes to make it uh, inside uh, 0 0.5 no Alt S yes, minus one and let's see how it looks. Yeah, 